and yes, we have a successful finding of the child. Firefighter Michael Tussey heard a, uh, a cry and um, he asked everybody to be quiet because he had heard the uh, child, uh, the voice of a child. And as we called his name over and over, he sporadically would uh, speak up and uh, uh, he would give us a, a, a shout and uh, we were able to pinpoint his location and then move into uh, where he was at. When I made contact with Kenneth, all he wanted was something to drink. We asked him if he wanted a Gatorade and he just stretched straight out for it. And then he started mumbling mom and dad. You know, that, that was all we could get out of him. And obviously there's some cliffs that the child could have easily walked off of, you know, 30, 40 foot cliffs that, you know, would have been uh, a fatal fall if, they, if he'd fallen off of that. Uh, our search team saw bear scat, so there's certainly bears in the area. I actually heard a report of a bear being confirmed, you know, spotting of a bear. Uh, coyotes, even a bobcat, you know, could kill an infant of that age. The investigation is still open as a missing person case. If something did pop up that could be on a criminal or something along that line, then it would be dealt with, but at this point it appears to be a missing person. We weren't expecting him to be alive. We didn't expect him to be there. The man up above is the reason that little boy's here. There's no doubt. As of uh, uh, 12 o'clock today, I spoke with the mother and she stated that uh, uh, Kenneth was doing exceedingly good, really good. He is uh, no longer had an IV required. His urine output is good and he's eating uh, food. And I don't know, maybe he can't get enough of it, of what he could eat. But uh, he is not sure when he's gonna be released, uh, but he's at a positive outlook and a full recovery is expected.